The Amazon is beyond comprehension. It's immense and full of life. It's a place where a new plant or animal is discovered every 15 days. However, the Amazon is also a very fragile place. Photo reporter Anna Palacios has uncovered it with her camera, doing meticulous work from the tri-border between Colombia, Peru, and Brazil. Fragile Amazon is a symbol. Fragile Amazon is a symbol. It symbolizes the challenges faced in this territory, this fragile territory told by those who know it best and can relate in the first person. Indigenous leaders who talk to us about their challenges, fears, strengths, in short, about their struggle. Beauty and denunciation in the photographs seemingly transport people to Colombia, to this place, the Internado Indígena de San Francisco de Loreto Yaco. Dius Heimer, who looks straight ahead, studies at this school. Faces like these are the faces that could disappear if the problem is not fixed. Not only do the terrible fires in the Amazon region endanger the life in these communities, but the institutional neglect, extractivism, drug trafficking, and human trafficking networks do too. The journey continues along the river to Peru. In Cocha, Santiago Yahurcarni laments about the exploitation of the Amazon's nature and people through his paintings. Ana's photographs and Santiago's paintings help maintain the roots of the ancestral culture. The Amazon is life in every aspect. It's also childhood and youth. It's the future. It's tradition. Of course, it's also the common home. For it to remain this, protection is necessary. For years, organizations such as Sidze have committed to this. We want a church that knows how to welcome the cry of the earth and the poor with urgency today. We want this to be taken to international levels and political processes in which Sidse already works, so they can work together with other civil society organizations and governments to ensure concrete responses to climate change. In collaboration with the Pan-Amazon Ecclesial Network, Sidse produced this exhibit, which is co-financed by the European Union. From Rome, the heart of Europe, Ana Palacios' images cry to the world that the Amazon needs care from all of Earth's inhabitants. For 15 years, we've been bringing you the latest news here from these streets. And we want to continue to grow and give you more services, but we can't do it without your help. That's why we want you to download and subscribe to Rome Reports Premium. It's an exclusive app that gives you content not found on our website. It's so easy to do. You just download the app from your smartphone in English or in Spanish. We want to continue to grow with you together so we can keep you informed from these streets here in Rome. Thank you so much for your support.